42% of adults across America are obese, which is triple the rate of the city I'm currently in, Boulder, Colorado, America's skinniest city, which sounds great, but there's a dark side. There's documentaries on all kinds of awful shit. the people who've started this. People seem more smug into themselves. I have 11 year old daughter, I want to expose her what reality is because it's not reality. But before we get into all that, I wanted to get a sense of the community. Welcome to Boulder, everybody. I can practically smell Lululemon in the air. So in America, people probably have like four delivery drivers per person, but in Boulder, people have four bikes per person on average. It's actually considered the bike racing capital of the United States. So because of that, everything we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna be biking around because I think we should just try to fit in. If you don't bike ride here and you take a car, I feel like people look at you like you're a hunter at a vegan festival. So we're gonna bike, find something to eat. Now I'm not the best biker. Um, I might get pulled over for a BUI. <laughs> I can do it. Now, I'm not sure why I thought the highway here would look like a Tour de France race, but I was sadly mistaken. It actually felt like a typical city where cars just hate bikers. Four bikes my ass per person. I'm the only one out here. What the heck? Fake news, bro. <sighs> First impressions at Boulder is I'm getting a little bit of cult vibes. Nothing like serious though, more like just like veganism and CrossFit. Um, but overall it's really beautiful. Tons of skinny people I've been seeing. It's like a fitness expo came and then decided to stay all year round. It's pretty crazy. And on the bike ride here, we passed like tons of healthy restaurants. So we ended up at a place called Just Be Kitchen and a really cool Guy Fieri from Triple D has been here. And we, and we know Guy Fieri does not eat very healthy. So if the fact that he came here it must be not just like bland, boring healthy food, good healthy food. The dessert section is called Just Be Naughty. Like, I don't know if mentally that's like necessarily like the best thing to do. Like, are they supposed to make us feel bad about ourselves so we don't get it? I'm gonna get it anyway. So I go and I look at the brownie and the brownie's made with almond flour. That's like renting an engagement ring. Like, just commit, bro. Like, if you're gonna make desserts, let's make desserts. Let's, 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 let's not try to make it all healthy, but I got it anyway, of course, and we're gonna see how a healthy brownie tastes. I think I spoke too soon. This is like a brownie that I think I would get in Texas. Look at this thing. Have you guys seen Matilda, Bruce eating that chocolate cake? This is literally what it's reminding me of. I can taste the health. It's good though, but that's actually really good. It's actually really good. We're gonna be biking a lot today, doing a lot of activities, so. It's not even gonna count. When I got my food, it looked so good, I just had to dance. It's what I do. Look at these things, man. Oh. Healthy French toast bliss sliders. So it's kind of like Boulder's version of the McGriddle. Let's see if Ronald has something to worry about here. There's coconut flakes on it. Are you putting the coffee over here? Yes. Wow, I really appreciate it that their idea of healthy food is not like low calorie, just like egg whites, chemicals, it's like whole foods, good ingredients, no seed oils, just really focusing on quality. So, so good. I absolutely housed this meal. It's pretty impressive to see just how accommodating this restaurant is with dietary restrictions, offering options for literally everybody. We have like that much left. I'm tempted to leave it because being in America's skinniest city, I don't know if it's bad etiquette to clean everything off my plate. No, I gotta eat it. I hit the road again, passing pretty much only healthy, organic looking restaurants. Something pretty crazy to note is that there's over 60 public parks in Boulder and just two McDonald's, which is probably pretty rare in America. We made it to the North Boulder Park. Look how beautiful this is. And this is just one of many parks here. And hopefully unrelated, there's apparently like 17 to 20,000 bears here. But I think the bears should know this. There's probably not a lot of meat on the people's bones to make it worth their while to attack. Look at this, this is just a prime spot for a picnic. But I don't think they do much of that here. Usually at parks, if they have a calisthenics facility, if you can even call it that, it looks like a breeding ground for tetanus or a great place for a drug deal. But then you have this. Holy, it's like the nicest calisthenics park I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> I must say that this is actually like a pretty advanced 
looking calisthenics park. I think that usually in parks, they make it for like the average person. And if the average person in Boulder could be doing like ring pull-ups and like ring rows, it's pretty impressive. So we're gonna do a calisthenics workout today. Oh my God, this looks incredibly hard. Zero seconds up into Savage. Three minutes to hold that. Boldarians are crazy. Do you call them Boldarians? I'm calling them Boldarians. How'd you get here? Method of transportation. Uh, I walked here. You, okay. Do you know anything about Boulder being America's skinniest city? You know, you hear things here and there about it. Like, Would you be surprised to hear if there's a lot of like people who are on the bigger side? who have to move here for like work or whatever it may be. And they're actually kind of scared and nervous that they're not gonna be accepted. This is surprisingly true. There is many Reddit forums of people showing concerns of moving to Boulder, thinking they won't fit in. I definitely could see that there is like a pressure um, to be more fit here, just because everybody is. I don't think they should be afraid. Yeah. I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, I don't make any judgments. I feel like if they, people might move here, they might be surrounded in a community where people are more fit and might- Inspire motivate. them to yeah. start doing things? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm from California and back where I was from, everyone would drive. It wasn't really that popular to just go outside and here a lot of my friends are like, let's go for a hike, let's go to the park. You don't yeah. just like go home, sit down, play Xbox, chill, drink. We skate, uh, hang out, go to the creek, hikes. I guess like the Peloton's like the Xbox for kids here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How old are you guys? Uh, 18. 18? Yeah, I'm 17. 17? Yeah. Being so young, do you guys feel like you have a pressure to be skinnier or like be look a certain way or? Yeah, a little bit. I yeah. Know, yeah, I think more with adults. Like yeah. More with adults, adults here. Yeah. Be doing more than most of the adults in other places in the country. How many pull-ups do you think you got? Uh, I think I got like maybe 15. 15? Yeah. And how old did you say you were again? 18. That's legit, man. Maybe. Three, two, one, two. Yeah. 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 Ah! Dude, that's like way harder than a regular one too. Right? Oh, yeah. Push-ups? Push-ups. Ah, yeah, uh, shit. I can see. Just a bit ago. Don't bring the excuses, man. No, I'm gonna run it, I'm gonna run it. <laughs> How many think you got? Yo, I might have it, like... Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Dude, this guy's catfished me. 15? What the heck? We're at like 40, yeah, that's man. My bad. <laughs> Good shit, man. Yes, sir. Good shit. Is Boulder a cult? A cult? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I ended up playing basketball with a bunch of high schoolers. Bad decision on their part. I'm just kidding, I actually suck. They've already been playing for hours. I can't even imagine the calorie burn, but it's just nice to see that their preferred method of hanging out is just being outside and being active, which I think is rare in most places. Oh my god, I'm sorry guys. I'm good at basketball? You're just being nice, man. I don't know if it's like related to like health and fitness, but people in Boulder ever since we arrived are so damn nice and welcoming. And I'm wondering if that's to do with just like the outdoors, the scenery, like the nature, and you're just generally just more happy. I was impressed with the young kids, but I was even more impressed when I saw this hunk of a man doing some calisthenics on a mini tree setup. How old are you? You don't mind me asking. Uh, 63. 63. You're shredded. <laughs> Boulder's known to be America's skinniest city. Does that surprise you at all? I don't want to believe that. No? In this city, we have just one big park. We don't have other parks like Denver have mm -hmm. because the city cannot grow anymore. Right, right. I learned really young, if I don't do things for myself, nobody's going to do for me and that my body's a temple. We used to have three clubs here. Now we just have one private club. Two clubs are gone. How many bikes do you have? Two, one you electric, there's one. Okay, you know the, the average person here has four bikes per person. Yes, because it's hard not to ride your bike. I work at university and I ride my bike everywhere. Why am I going with yeah. my car? I was working at Incar in the mountains. I bought the electric bike to go up there. You feel guilty driving a car? I feel guilty driving a car. Why do I need a car? Do you think there's a pressure for people to look a certain way in terms of like being skinnier, like more fit? 
not for men, for women, okay. to, to be skinny. Not, not so much for men. Why do you think that? I do not know if I'm, it's appropriate for me to say that. Uh, I don't even know if I should say that. They, they, they want women to certain like your that they are in puberty. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, right. Last question for you. Yeah. Is Boulder a cult? Yes or no? A cult? Yeah. Uh, I, I would not say that. No? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not trying to protect. Probably can be, but I don't think so. Yeah. Nobody ever said anything. It's because you're to part me. of the cult, you don't see it. I don't think I've ever seen somebody bring their own setup and attach it to a tree in my entire life. Why? Because I've never been to Boulder. Usually when a place is healthier and fitter, typically means there's more money around. So it's no surprise Boulder is one of the wealthier towns in the United States. And I guess that makes sense why the largest Whole Foods in the nation is here. This Whole Foods is 77,000 square feet, practically double the average size Whole Foods in any other state. I'm getting my 10,000 steps just, just walking Whole Foods. I've never seen peppers so nicely stacked. You're doing a good job, man. Damn. This is officially my first stop if a zombie apocalypse ever hits because I'm just, I'm in shock. It's pretty much just missing a McDonald's play place. And then it's, it's, it's heaven. So many foods I didn't even know existed are here. It's like a healthy Pop-Tart, wild berry acai. Now this table isn't just hot, it is sexy. I don't think I've ever seen a hot table section this big in my entire life. Oh my. I'm geeking out so hard right now. When you're surrounded by it, it's pretty easy to live that really healthy lifestyle. Kids are growing up being surrounded by biking, rock climbing, so they adopt that at a very young age, which just brings healthy habits for an early age, which is amazing. It's crazy, the pizza's only 10 calories. With Boulder being such a big foodie town, I wanted to try some of the top rated health spots, starting at Flower Child, which is such an innocent, cute name, but it has a menu that could definitely get me in trouble. I got the cauliflower risotto, which was actually incredible. Like it was making me act up. Then I went to this place called Thrive. I think I got a contact high just walking in. The Wi-Fi password is definitely love and peace. I got the elevated cheesecake, which I was hoping was a THC reference, but it wasn't. It was good though, vegan, but good. And lastly, I checked out Wander to get a local nut milk and it was absolutely scrumptious. You getting any weird looks eating that ice cream out here? Um, no, actually, people are very, very cool, very non-judgmental. Really? Yeah. Okay. Just be careful out there. First ice cream place I've seen probably have like kale cones, seaweed sprinkles, stuff like that. I feel like the best place to have an affair in Boulder would be like a place like this or like the McDonald's because you would, no one would ever see you. Like, no one would ever suspect to even go there. You see a lot of healthy restaurants, a lot of spiritual places, and very interestingly, not one person smoking at all, which is kind of weird because people smoke and they end up being skinny, but there's no one smoking, which is super strange. So you said you're from Australia. Yes. You've been here for the past three weeks. Yes. So you have a good kind of idea of the city and the people. Yes. Would you be surprised to hear that it's the skinniest city in America? Uh, no. What do you think is the biggest contributing factor to that, you think? I think all the nature. Everyone runs. I mean, I've literally been here for an hour. I just bought a new pair of running shoes. I don't know. I feel like people like look up to like people who are like big and strong like you, you feel me? Yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. There's always people on the trail. It's always very busy. All the clothing stores here are around hiking, walking, walking, running. A lot of the things like outside on clearance, they're all like larges, extra larges. And it's like, oh, okay. it's right. really surprising. None of those are being bought. Even the Ben and Jerry's, calories. like you, you get this little thing of Ben and Jerry's. Really? Yeah. A lot of people say that like of the bigger size, they're like afraid to move here. Because they, they think they're gonna get judged. Could you guys see that? Not really. No, I don't think so. Yeah. I'd hope not. Why do you think that people have such a hard time moving here? Because they do. I think the people here are really nice, so I, would, I can't see that. I could honestly see that being an issue. Really? Yeah. I think so, yeah, sure. because people, when people here are in the fitness, they, it seems like they would put other people down, honestly. Seriously. Mm -hmm. I do think that the people here are generally like pretty friendly and accepting. They're ruder here, I feel like. Really? Yeah. You probably would have a much harder time making friends here because people seem more smug into themselves. There's sort of a difference between like the way that people actually like will treat you and perceive you versus like the way that you might feel about it. 100%. Um, From a girl's perspective, 
if you were to move to Boulder and you're like on the heavier side, do you, would you find that to be intimidating? Yeah. 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 We literally just met like a two-time Olympian who moved to Boulder to be in better shape. Yeah, like that's, that's the wow. kind of... Both of us have obviously like struggled with body image issues in the past, especially being around like in an environment where like there are a lot of thin people around you, it can definitely be intimidating. While on the surface, everyone in Boulder is healthy, happy, and fit, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. People are suffering in silence. Boulder actually leads the nation in ED rates with University of Colorado Boulder reporting nearly triple the national average of ED among women. I would look at myself in the mirror and I would think I was the most ugliest person in the world. I was unlovable, unable to um, ever be considered beautiful. And it was so intense that the thoughts in my head, they were just berating me over and over again. I would wake up and I'd put myself on a spin bike and I would spin for an hour or two making sure I'd have enough debt of calories so I could go to have a breakfast. My breakfast would consist of an apple and maybe a handful of nuts and typically that is what I survived on the entire day. I was curious to see if some of the locals were aware of this situation. Oh no, that's surprising. Really? Yeah. I would say it's a little bit surprising to yeah. me. I think probably every girl, you every guys, girl, will say they have an eating disorder, whether it's diagnosed or not. Really? Yeah. I have to agree a little bit to that. Really? People, women that I know that's related to us, that they barely eat. I know this for sure. Literally, just what that Olympian was talking about was she was saying like she used to have it difficult. Like, like really, she said yeah. that. As she learned in her life, she's like she's never gonna skip a meal. She's never gonna skip lunch. She's never gonna want to be skinny or whatever it is. Anorexia, bulimia, all that stuff. Right. Yeah, it's definitely here. An outdoors healthy lifestyle. It's surprising that it's there's an unhealthy element to it. Why do you think that? Like, why, why do you think that would be the I case? I just feel, I feel like, I think a lot of people know that it's considered like a healthier place and... They're thinking so much about, I gotta get in shape, I gotta run, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And then they miss. So it starts as a good habit, but then ends up getting kind of bad because yes. you're taking it too far. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And I find myself not eating sometimes, but that's just... Really? What about you? I mean, yeah, for sure. I mean, I like struggle with my weight all the time, but yeah. not on a, like on purpose. In order to better understand this topic and the mentality behind it, I met up with professional in the field, Brooke Alexander. So what is it that you exactly do? I work with people who are in recovery from eating disorders. I offer trauma education groups, nervous system education groups, and also uh, more embodiment groups that focus on returning to the body from a place of gentleness. Oh wow, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I've seen online a few times the, the concept of like the bolder body, people feeling they have to look a certain way, which then leads into ED. Mm. A lot of the people we talked to today, mm -hmm. it was kind of like a very like definitive, like, oh no, like we don't, we don't see that mm. here. Yeah, yeah. And is it because it's, is it something that's very easy to hide? I know a lot of people in Boulder and in Colorado who yeah. are actively struggling with eating disorders and also who are in recovery or have recovered. I think a lot of people just lack the language and the awareness that something is disordered. Maybe that's over-exercising or restricting food or just being really, really um, hypercritical of certain parts of our bodies. When we see a large portion, at least in our Western culture, of people doing that, it feels normal. I like to go Denver every week, weekends, to go back to reality, you know? Yeah. Because if I have an 11 year old daughter, I want to expose her what reality is because this is kind of, Boulder is an island. It's not kind of all the reality, you know? Mm -hmm. I struggled greatly with an eating disorder growing up as a kid. And it was never something that I actually even realized or could even, even comprehend that I, I had one until like the very end when people were like, okay, there's something wrong people can struggle with an eating disorder for decades before actually realizing, oh wow, this is something I can ask for help with. I've worked with clients who are in their 70s too. Typically in the eating disorder programs, it tends to be mostly female. There's a certain type of stigma for men with eating 100%. disorders. Yeah. Age-wise, teenagers are struggling immensely. Our programs are always full. It breaks my heart. And sometimes it's uh, really well-intentioned parents that have this idea of what it means to be healthy. So you're saying a lot of people feel like they're doing the right thing and it ends up kind of spiraling down the wrong way. Is that kind of what atypical anorexia is? Mm -hmm. What makes it atypical is that the person who is demonstrating those symptoms is not low body weight. So you can't necessarily see it 
on the scale of what it means to be underweight, they don't quite match it. And so it's very easy to go under the radar. Have you heard of atypical anorexia? Yes, I, as a matter of fact, I, I, I heard about that uh, today. Today? Yeah, because I'm learning Italian. But that's not a thing just in the US. It's a thing all over the world. Yeah, but it's particularly a high rate of that here in Boulder. Yes, I heard that too. And like I said, I have a daughter and uh, this does not happen in our house, but we believe that one of her friends it's facing this kind of thing, but the parents still didn't realize that. And she's only 11 years old? Yes. Wow. When I was in college, I was binge drinking, which soon led to binge eating, which soon led to purging, bulimia. And for a long time, I was like, oh, it's just because I'm drinking, that's the issue. And when I first told my therapist, I was sent to a psychiatrist. And instead of looking for the deeper rooted issue of why are you binging? Why are you numbing with alcohol? It was more so just layering a, a Band-Aid on the issue of giving me medication, prescribing me Adderall so that I wouldn't binge, so that I wouldn't purge. And it never got to the deeper issue. When I was at my lowest weight and fit into the beauty ideal, I was the sickest I've ever been, mm -hmm. is when I was receiving all of the, wow, you yeah. look so yeah. healthy, the praise. And it encourages you to go farther. Exactly. Yeah. It can be a really hard thing to ask for help. And when I did and I was in a space where people were openly talking about their struggles, it was a game changer for me to have this moment of, oh, I'm not alone in this. I love going to group events in new cities to get to know the locals inside and out, but I've never actually gone to a group event outside in a park for something like physically active like this. They have something called a cruiser ride every single Thursday. It's been a tradition every week since 1992, before I was born. So the theme today is the Olympics. And look at this turnout. In a lot of places, in order to like socialize with like your friends and, and family, that usually involves food, alcohol, stuff like that. It's really nice that they can, people can like socialize without those things and just do something physically active. I think you won best dress today, man. Listen, I love it. Okay. I absolutely love it. I'm all about the themes. I heard they have a lingerie theme. Here? Yeah. That's when we don't bring the cameras out. Yeah. There's a nude night. There's a couple of good ones. I bet you Next kill that. Week. How many bikes do you own? 25. 25 bikes. People were actually incredibly passionate about the theme and some people had some of the most insane bike setups I've ever seen in my life. That's crazy. I literally think I'm about to do like a Mario Kart race. I, mean, I actually got bananas to just throw them, you know? I also feel like I'm getting kind of high. There's a lot of drugs. And here I am on a city bike. I'm 74. I can't pedal anymore and I... I mean, you're so right, man. My leg, you're, you're the my, best looking bike of the bunch. My leg is numb, so I, I don't have any balance anymore. I can't ride. I used to ride mountain bike all the time. Oh, did you? Okay. Michael Phelps is here. Oh! Oh, yeah. It's not real. Here we go. Woo, woo. I feel like I just got dropped into a new game on legendary mode. I don't know what to do. Oh my, look at that bike, bro. What the? I was having a blast. I honestly can't remember the last time I had this much fun. Vibes are immaculate, music is good. This guy is popping a wheelie and I was actually so concerned for him, but good thing he's wearing a helmet. Everybody say cruiser. Everybody say cruiser. Three, two. That's a sick bike, dude. Thank you. Yo, Vedon, say what's up. What's up, man? Yeah. He's my new friend. Hey, you guys must follow my Instagram log. I will follow you, Vedon. You want to know what's pretty crazy? The cars here absolutely love us. It makes no sense. They're honking for us. They're smiling. If I was a car and I saw this, I would be pissed. I'm getting crazy Mad Max vibes right now. I can totally see myself looking forward to something like this every single week. And if you're single, this is a great place to pick someone up. I'm just saying. Post bike ride, I finished off the day with a chicken sandwich and a side of beets. Only in Boulder.